Hi and welcome to another gaming video and in today's video I want to compare the original 3DS with the new 2DS XL and when I say compare I mean just purely size wise I'm not going to go into hardware differences we all know that the new 2DS XL is new it's got extra buttons and extra process and power and being an XL it's got 90% larger screens that's the difference between the two but size wise there isn't actually a lot of difference I mean this is my first 3DS I've had it a few months absolutely love it and it's why I went and bought a, a new 2DS XL it's roughly the same size as every other DS like the DS Lite and the DSi it's a chubby little fellow so it's got this kind of three layered texture and it's got a fair weight to it so let's compare it to this which is the new 2DS XL and you can see that they are virtually the same thickness the 2DS XL despite having 90% larger screens is marginally bigger than an original 3DS so there really isn't a huge amount of size difference considering all the extra bits that you get on this and that, that's all I really want to do in this video is just compare what it feels like in the hand kind of thing so weight wise they are pretty much the same uh, build quality I would say that the original 3DS feels absolutely rock solid I mean it's, it's a it's a really solidly put together piece of kit I mean this is now 10 11 years old and apart from changing the bottom screen because uh, the, when I got it it was scratched it's still going and it's still fantastic so build wise I think this is absolutely superb the new 2DS XL I have I don't want to say that it's flimsy it just feels a little less robust than the, than the original 3DS and uh, I don't know about what the new 3DS and new 3DS XL are like. I by no means think this is going to break in the next five minutes. And really, you should be careful with all consoles because you need to look after them. But I just think it's a little bit more flimsy. Perhaps it's just because it's a lot thinner. I mean, the bottom section is thinner. The, the top screen definitely is very thin. Whether that's just because of the lack of 3D, so they didn't have to add that in or not. So when you look at the original 3DS screen, it's quite thick and very, very, very robust. The hinges are really, really strong on it, uh, whereas this one is extremely thin, uh, especially for its size. And the hinges seem a little bit wobblier. Uh, I had heard that that was deliberate to give less strain on wear and tear on the hinges. but. There you go, that's the two comparisons, sort of just side by side. Weight wise, pretty much the same. Thickness wise, pretty much the same. And despite the fact that it's 90% bigger screens and it's got all these extra gubbins in, it isn't a massive big difference in size to the original 3DS. So there you go. Short video for anyone who is going from an original 3DS, looking at some of the newer models and wondering what the difference is. Link, like, subscribe, enjoy.